So, Judith Sanwolu, this is a message for you. You see, I'm not going to cry because I don't cry for cowards. All right? What you did today is totally reprehensible. Tinumbu, a message for you too. Yes, this is Iriti. Iriti Bakari. Yes, Omojari. I am addressing you. Okay? And I am saying to you, you, of all people, you who fought for democracy, you who stood up against the forces that tried to muffle people in this country, you have the audacity. Why? Because they have the audacity to do what you did during Nadeko. Because they have the audacity to do what the right that's afforded to them by the same constitution that we are all under. How dare you? How dare you think you can kill people's children? How dare you try to take their rights away from them? You fought. When you were in opposition, you fought against military coming into Lagos. I was at Occupy Nigeria. BRF was governor. You, APC, were in opposition. I, Ireti Bakari Yusuf, or Bakari if you like, I have volunteered for APC, I have volunteered for ACN, and you have the audacity, the effrontery, the sheer wickedness and senselessness to kill children. For Why? Me. Because they dare to stand up, stand up for the same oppression that you stood up for. Or long about. If you come and see, see, what, Tiri? EPT one my CEC mark my name. Everyone, I am sit down, furious. Sit down, I have sit down. never done this before. But right now, I am furious. I am a mother. You are a father. All of you. But when you pata pata eh niti ju, eh niti ju. How many of them are you going to kill? Tell me. How many of them can you kill? How many? Jide bere milo wa ye tunde bere milo wa kibo. Shogba bere milo wa ye misi. I just saw a governor and oh, govern anything. This is the first time you have disappointed me and all of Lagos since your admin. This is the first time, and this time you've really gone too far. It's so wrong. You give people four hours' notice for a curfew that you know is going to be manned by military. Oh, my nice, oh, my kind, oh, my lord, oh, Yorubani. Please tell people, people, people are having to run Please tell social media. Media. Eh? I was there today. I was there for two hours. Nothing happened. That's why I left. But this one that you've done, you are not going to leave it down. The world is watching and nobody, nobody is afraid of you anymore. Not those kids, nobody. And this is also to federal government. You can keep bullying people. You see, what has happened right now is that, you see these kids, they've stood up to you. They have stood up to the bully. And the best thing about standing up to a bully is that you arrest their mind. A government that has to resort to military and armwear and, and all sorts of violence in other to steal the rights of the citizen from them is a government that's not capable of even boiling friggin' water.